Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about a new fragrance from the house of Lancome and it's called Lancome Idole Lintance. So this is a flanker of the original Idole. Very popular scent. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you might know that the original Idole wasn't something that worked well for me. Um, but I've had a few of you ask me to uh, get my nose on this one. so. I got a sample, I've been wearing it for the past few days, and I'll share with you guys what I think about it. So the opening, actually let's get into the notes first. In the, in the top we have orange and bitter orange. In the mid there's rose, rose, jasmine, 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 and musk. <laughs> so there's two roses and three jasmines in here. And in the base there's patchouli, cedar, cashmere, acacia, sandalwood, and vanilla. All right, so the opening of this fragrance really surprised me, you guys, and surprised me in a good way. <laughs> what I get in the opening is this intense, heavy, deep, rich, floral scent that to me reminded me of older perfumes, of vintage perfumes, old school perfumes, which was really a nice surprise. I was not expecting that at all. I was kind of expecting maybe something very similar to the original Idol, but to my nose, I get this old school feel in the opening that to me smells like um, a woody, rosy musk. And it's lovely. The opening I was really pleased with. In the mid and dry down of, frag of this fragrance, it does change a lot. I have the dry down here. It smells a lot less vintagey. That old school vibe disappeared and I get something a little bit more modern and what I get is jasmine. Jasmine is the most prominent note on me as this dries down. It's no longer the rose and I also get a little bit of fruitiness in here. The notes say that it's orange and bitter orange. I don't really get those specific fruity notes but I do get like a sweetness of fruits and it's fresh it's clean it's a lot brighter than the opening it's a lot cleaner and fresher than the opening and it smells pretty nice um, in the dry down of this perfume what I'm left with is this clean woody slightly soapy musky scent it's okay, you know. I mean, I really liked the opening, but it just feels like after that, it kind of just went, you know, in the downward direction. <laughs> and not in like a stinky way or anything, but I just really enjoyed the opening so much. And I was a little bit let down with um, the dry down of this fragrance because it smells quite underwhelming, I would say. But not in a bad way. It's something more familiar, something we've smelled before. I would say that this fragrance would be okay as an everyday scent. It's not offensive. You can wear it to the office every day, for example. All ages can wear this, I think. Well, I think that goes for most perfumes, but this just has a very nice, mass appealing kind of scent to it with a beautiful opening. So I enjoyed this fragrance. I enjoy this one a lot more than the original Edol like a lot more. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is okay. I think this is all right. I'm not sure if I would buy this for myself because there are other things in my collection that I would probably reach for more. But just based on this scent alone, Idol Lintons, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice one. And I enjoy it. I enjoyed testing it, so yeah. So those were my quick thoughts on Lancome Idole Lintons. If you guys have tried this fragrance, please let me know in the comments what you think about it. Other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.